evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader. Today is Tuesday, November the 1st, 2022. I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, unemployment continues to drop in Tennessee and Coffee County. The Wildcats finish off their football season with a win and Bark in the Park resumed last weekend after being on hold for the last two years. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader. Parkview Senior Living, active, independent senior living at its finest. There's a lot of talk about the risks associated with the COVID-19 vaccine, but the reality is, it's safer than going for a run. Give it a shot. Find a free appointment today at covid19.tn.gov. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what, I'll bet you five bucks. Okay. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? Mm -hmm. To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again, then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcoming. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. Welcome back. Well, if you're hoping that service would get better at local restaurants or businesses, it won't because citizens of Coffee County don't need to stick with their current jobs. The unemployment rate in Coffee County in September was 3.1%, which was down one third of a percentage point from August's rate of 3.4%. Every county in Tennessee recorded unemployment rates below 5% in September, according to the latest data from the Department of Labor and Workforce Development. September also marked the second consecutive month that rates decreased in each of the state's 95 counties. September's statewide seasonally adjusted unemployment rate held steady at 3.4 percent for the second consecutive month. The national seasonally adjusted unemployment rate dropped in September to 3.5 percent, down 0.2 of a percentage point in a month-to-month -month comparison. A complete analysis of the September 2022 county unemployment data for Tennessee is available at tn.gov under labor estimates. Job seekers can find all the resources and services they need to start their search all in one place. tnworkready.com is the site where Tennesseans can find a new job, find programs to help them develop new skills, or find classes where adult learners can earn a high school equivalency diploma. And in other news, the Tullahoma Wildcats played their last game of the season on Friday night in a 49-0 beatdown over the 0-10 Glencliff Colts. The Wildcats finished their season under Coach Coy Sisk at 4-6 after an up-and-down season. News leader Sean Gray broke down the final game of the season with Coach Sisk on Saturday's fifth quarter show. Big victory last night on senior night, last game of the season. And uh, what a great way for our young men and women and, and everybody that's involved, the band, the cheerleaders, all those little, there was a thousand knotheads out there last night from the uh, Bob Warner, yeah, from Mullins Frank League, Mullins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and our ROTC people and everybody was celebrated that, that uh, makes Tullahoma High School Wildcat football what it is. Oh, there's no it's doubt. It's a great that. night. Hey, and you know, we talk about the atmosphere there a lot, John. Last night, it, it was another one of those nights. It was, it was really amazing. So you talk about the Frank Mullins kids. So uh, around 6 o'clock, a little after 6, normally we exit underneath the scoreboard and go line up. The football team does for that Wildcat walk. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, and I always hear chatter from the team. But uh, right there is where the Frank Mullins kids 
were lined up and they were going to get behind us to, to run out after them. Oh, yeah. And, hey, th those little kids, you know, thank the world of those guys. We tried to explain it to them before the fact, but uh, I heard them while we were in line. One of them said, you know, Hey, he said, I feel like a college or a pro athlete. But, <laughs> uh, that, but hey, look, I can remember being that age looking yeah. up to those high school guys. So, hey, it's amazing. And I, I love that. And then the cheerleaders, the little cheerleaders were there. And uh, so always nice to, for the young kids, they, you know. But, hey, that's one of the things that makes Tullahoma, Tullahoma. I mean, the community support and how tight-knit everybody is. And it, it's fun to watch. Well, you know, and, 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 and great to be a part of. The, the announcer said something about here's the future of Tullahoma Wildcat football. And, you know, I remember talking with Coach Olive, and I know you were, it, it's happened sort of recently, so I'm, I, I know you were part of it, mm -hmm. that, that the way that we're, that we're teaching football in high school translates down to junior high, translates down to Mullins, even even the way some of the plays are probably designed to where these kids are learning all the way down when they're this tall what they're going to have to be doing when they get into high school. But John, the way you and I tackled when we played football and the, and the way the game was played, uh, we've learned so much since then on how to keep people safe. So things that things that our coaches used to get on to us about, we're actually teaching right. kids on how to keep the keep your head out of it. How many times you get in trouble for not getting your head across the ball, you know, or or not leading with your head. We're trying to teach these kids from a right. young age right. up, hey, to keep the head out and uh, <clears throat> and to shine shoes. Yeah. Well and one of the things, you know, that didn't happen when when I played and probably when you played you, if somebody caught a pass and it was running with the ball, you didn't even think about going over there and getting in a fight with him to try to drag the ball out of his hands. Exactly. And now, that's what it's all about. Hey, hey want to win that turnover battle constantly. And boy, last night did we win the turnover battle. Hey, kids did a great job. Hey, some of it, the way they're carrying the football, others of it, hey, actually, things that we've worked on throughout the year, hey, just came to light and it, and it happened. Yeah, what what amazed me is you know we had what three interceptions mm -hmm. is even one of the one of the defensive guys got up in the way and s sort of almost knew that he couldn't make that reception but he could keep the the offensive guy from making a reception and he popped it just a little bit and one of the one of his buddies comes right behind him and intercepts it hey well that yeah. tip drill has been going tip on drill is, is since, we, since we play you're <laughs> yeah. correct you're correct that tip drill has been going on hey one of those things last night that hey we talk about execution and being able to execute uh last night we were able to execute and Hey, look, some luck came our way, and, and those are good things. Those yeah. are good things. Yeah, and, and I guess just about everybody that wanted to walk on the field could walk on the field and play last night. No, we, did our, we did our best to try to get everybody, everybody some playing the time yeah. because it was a situation where we could. Yeah. We had a situation where and we what, could. And what I control. thought was fun is I saw some seniors who are players and contributors on our team in positions that they usually don't play in, like uh, Zane Hope was running, or mm -hmm. was got to, got to run the ball. You know, uh, it's not that he wasn't wasn't a good running back. That's just not what his assignments were during the season. So he was given an opportunity to do what he wanted to do. Not not really our forte. And look, we're in a unique situation. Like we said last week, it's not every year that you get a chance to end it with a W. You know, and know you're probably going to do that. Yeah, to end it with the win. And then it's not every week that you get in a situation so you can move and shuffle people yeah. in order to give them different opportunities. 49-0. Yeah. Good well, way to end the season. Got a lot of people in the game. Everybody had a good time. It was a great atmosphere. Perfect night. Oh, yeah. A little bit of chill in the air, but not, you know, not too bad. Uh, and our young men get to get to our seniors get to leave with a win, and a, a substantial win under their belt. And uh, a lot of these kids will never play football again. You know, and uh, it's, it's about the experience they have while they're doing it, hey, and the little things that they learn. 
and, and pick up along the way. But uh, again, I couldn't. My last game as a high school football player was a loss, you know. So, oh, so that's kind of ingrained in your memory right there. Some from time to time, these guys got to leave with the with the win, and I'm sure after the game there were, you know, instead of a bunch of tears of sadness and things of that nature and all those pictures, uh, they got they got some time with their friends right there. Hey, and it was Do you see the way I hit old 42 yes. over there when he came through the yeah. line? Yeah. Do you see that block I gave, put on 67 <laughs> over there? You know, yeah, so excited good, good and experience. happy. Good experience, hey, and, and good memories. And so, like I said, special place, Tullahoma, uh, and Friday night was was positive, and that'll that'll almost complete the books pretty much on the 2022 season, and. Uh, Hey, we appreciate those seniors. I told them this the other night. I appreciate those seniors showing us exactly all right, where that bar needs to be set in order to be a Tullahoma football player. And uh, now this group has a standard that, sure. that, that they have to try to – we're not going after match the standard. We're trying to go above the standard. And so I appreciate those seniors showing us uh, what we need to get accomplished. And so that's – that's the next step, John. In related for local football news, the Coffee County Red Raiders finished their regular season at 8-2 after beating Ray County 35-0 on Friday night and will play Stewart's Creek in the first round of the playoffs in Smyrna on Friday night. Good luck to the Red Raiders on their playoff run. And after these messages, we'll be right back. For many senior citizens, life looks like this, but it doesn't have to. When you make your home at Parkview Senior Living, life after retirement takes on a whole new meaning. Daily exercise options, fun outings, happy hour, game nights, movies and popcorn, arts and crafts, enjoying friends over chef prepared meals. Parkview Senior Living, where you're always home, but you're never home alone. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanSTEM.com. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. Saturday marked the return of Bark in the Park after two years of cancellations and all of the dogs were out. I stopped by and spoke with Shell Rhodes, Animal Control Supervisor from the Tullahoma Animal Shelter about the event. So I'm speaking with Cheryl with the Tullahoma Animal Shelter and Cheryl, we're here at Bark in the Park. Yes. And now, has it uh, been one year or two years since we've had? It hasn't had it since 2019. So when COVID started, we haven't had Bark in the Park since then. This is our first one since this. This is personally my first Bark in the Park and all of our staff is new. So this is our first one putting on. We're here today from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, we've got walking Frito chili pies. We've got nachos in the back. We're selling our t-shirts, the 2022 Tallahoma Bark in the Park. We've got some adoptable dogs here. We're going to have an adoptable, adoptable dog parade. Coffee County Humane Society is here with some dogs. We've got Rough Rescue here. Several vendors in the back. Silent auction with some really great things. Uh, we've got some dog kennels. Uh, we've got face painting for the kids. Well, it's not face painting, it's tattoos. Bounce houses for toddlers. We've got a bounce house for older kids. Um, Coffee County Canine Unit is here. He's brought his dog Storm and they're out here doing some demonstrations. We've got our Mr. and Mrs. Tullahoma Canine that we're voting for. The public is actually going to vote for those. The public got tickets and the one with the most wins. And then we're going to crown that around 145 ish. Silent so auction is at 130. All sorts of stuff. And oh, yeah. beautiful, beautiful dogs abounding everywhere here. And they're all having a great time, aren't they? <laughs> well, Cheryl, thanks for everything you guys at the animal shelter do. And uh, it's great to be back out here again. Thank you. It's great to be here, too. From first, second, and third, and back home. Coffee County Humane also has a couple more adoptable dogs over at their tent. 
But Scout will be the only one walking with him today. All right, now she's riding first and going to go through. Next, we have with the Telahoma Animal Shocker, this is Jarvis. Older resident. Uh, he currently he got adopted, but there was an issue with his owner, and so he's back for his second stay. And Jarvis is looking for his forever home. Next up, we have Mac. I don't know if you've seen Mac. Mac right now is currently living in our ACO office because we are over capacity. He's around three years old. He's good with kids, cats, other dogs. He's a complete sweetheart. He weighs about 80 pounds, and he thinks he's a lap baby. Next, we've got Henrietta. Henrietta is one of our older residents. She's been here over 300 days. Uh, really good female dog. She likes to play. She plays with other dogs. Uh, normally she spends time with us in the morning when we're cleaning. She runs around while the other dogs are put up. Thinks she owns a place. Um, Henrietta's going to go around first base. And then we're going to have Oja. Oja is a uh, newer, she's been here since the end of September. She and her biological brother Bruno came in together. She's right at a year old. She's completely ready for adoption, spayed, up to date on all of her vaccines, everything like that. And last we have Max. Max just came back to us last week. He's completely up to date. He's five months old. He's still a puppy. He's still on that chewy phase. He's not potty trained. He's a baby. Um, five months old, he went out to foster to adopt. They decided he wasn't for them, and now he's back. We'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. He's a little bit of you, he's a little bit of me. The trash along the roads out of Tennessee. He's the garbage that we find. He's the dream we left behind. Lord, there ain't no lower class than Tennessee trash. We have met the enemy, and he is us. Welcome back. At last week's Chamber Coffee, author and investment advisor Sean M. Rolls spoke to the crowd about moving to Tullahoma and his book, Money Revolution. Thank you. Um, so my name is Sean Rolls. My, my family and I relocated here three years ago during peak COVID. Uh, so it's lovely to actually get out and actually start to, to meet people in the community. So Endeavor Wealth Partners is a specialty asset management group for UBS, which is the world's largest wealth management provider. And what we do is we manage investments for individuals, but primarily for institutions. So uh, bank reserve assets, insurance companies, corporations, foundations, endowments. Um, but that's kind of the tip of the iceberg of what we really do. Um, my big passion is financial literacy. I don't believe there's enough information given freely uh, in the community to help people make better financial decisions. Um, I've, I've taught at Vanderbilt University for the past 10 years, applied macroeconomics, and in our work there, we've developed basically some of the most advanced uh, big data and predictive analytics for financial markets. This year in particular has been really interesting in terms of financial markets, and many of you may have questions or concerns. Um, our work, we, which we share freely, we're happy to communicate it with you, and, and we send out regular updates to anybody, individuals or businesses, gives you a better insight into where we're at now, and more importantly, what's coming next. Um, and the last thing I'll mention is, I, I wrote a book a couple of years ago, and I'm, it's literally taken me around the world over the past two years, talking about the rise of blockchain technology. 
And I, I, I call the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space the great distraction because what it does is it's distracted people away from what's really happening, which is there's this new technology coming on. It's here to stay. It's going to change the world in hyper boring ways and it's going to affect just about every person in this room. To give you an example, I saw some, some First Bank representatives. Uh, so I consult with Wade Peary, who is the Chief Innovation Officer for First Bank. Uh, we were meeting yesterday and he was talking about their, their light years ahead in terms of applying blockchain technology to the banking in, industry. Um, but what they're already seeing is 60 to 80 percent cost reductions. So this stuff's like really, really important. Um, I'm happy to give out free signed books. If you don't know anything about the space and you want to try to get caught up, it's not too late. This is one of those big changes, kind of like the introduction of the internet that's going to be here with us for a while. So anybody that's interested, reach out to me. Um, happy to give you the book. Happy to get you signed up to our commentaries and our, our forward guidance on where the markets are going. We're in the middle of a rally. We're going into a seasonally good period for the market. Next year we still have some issues that we're going to contend with. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve, just let me know. Happy to share. We'll be back with more news after these messages. We tend to lose our motivation when we have something that's chronic, but you've got to do what you can early on as you can. After I'd exercise like that, I would have a lot of energy to do housework or whatever I needed. Well, I would recommend it highly to anyone at any degree of Parkinson. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. STEM is everywhere, like here, behind the scenes of The Walking Dead. When we break down clothes, we tumble it with trisodium phosphate, rock salt, and dish detergent. We stitched together images of our model and created a 3D set that can be walked through in a VR headset. We're able to turn 12 walkers into a thousand walker board. STEM can create new worlds on and off the screen. What will you make with STEM? Get inspired at shecanstem.com. Here at Barkview Senior Living, they're human friendly. That's why I love it here and so does my senior human. When they want a bite, they get chef prepared meals and so do I. Movies in the theater, day trips, walks on the trail, and other senior humans to play with. The grass and the grounds are exquisite. It's everything my human needs to be healthy and active. Barkview, <coughs> Parkview Senior Living for your dog's best friend, you are identified as national merit semifinalists. In response, Banks said, quote, this honor means a lot and I have worked hard to achieve this goal. This will open a lot of doors for me as I start applying to colleges and look forward to the future, end quote. Banks is now the third student from Tullahoma High School in the last two years to be named a national merit semifinalist. Last year, Franklin Zhang and Jacob Bennett received the same status before being named national merit finalists this past spring. The 2023 finalists are scheduled to be announced in February. Grinning like a Cheshire cat, Tullahoma High School Principal Jason Quick added, quote, I could not be more proud of Jackson as he continues the tradition of Tullahoma High School producing a national merit semifinalist each year. Jackson has spent his four years at THS and is committed to pursuing academic excellence and meeting the expectations of a Wildcat, end quote. While he doesn't know quite yet where he would like to attend college, Banks said his goal is to attend a four-year university where he plans to major in mechanical engineering. The Telehoma senior was honored before, during the Telehoma Board of Education meeting that took place in October. Telehoma City Schools direct, Director of Schools, Dr. Katherine Stevens, said, quote, It's always exciting to celebrate our students, and I'm so happy Jackson was in attendance on Tuesday. Being named a National Merit semifinalist is a tremendous accomplishment and we are eagerly awaiting the next level of results as he moves forward in this award process." End quote. And from all of us at Newsleader, congratulations to Jackson Banks for his accomplishment. And don't forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Katie Ishii, who will invite everyone out to her annual toy drive this weekend. Fran Gray will remind us about Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And Jackie Duncan has some CD stamps history. All that and more on this week's living. 
and stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcoming. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life-enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. Hi, I'm Fran Gray with Alzheimer's Tennessee. When you receive a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease for yourself or someone you love, Please know that you do not have to go through this journey alone. Alzheimer's Tennessee is here for you to provide support and education, all the help you may need to get through this challenge. Our number is 931-434-2348. We encourage you to give us a call. We're here to help. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. My husband was diagnosed with a spinal infection. He lost his ability to swallow and the movement of his legs. I couldn't turn over in bed, I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat. They were just wonderful in the treatment and care they gave my husband. I uh, regained my mobility where I was able to go home. It is miraculous. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 2016 at 84 degrees. The record low was in 1930 at 22 degrees. Average high for this day is 65, and the average low is 41. Cloudy for tonight with a low of 51. Mostly sunny for Wednesday with a high of 72 and a low of 47. And uh, sunny skies for Thursday with a high of 75 and a low of 50. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for News Leader. Stay safe and have a great evening.